everybody, it's Tamara here for Dr. Digi Stamps with another card making tutorial using the new release image Bashful Bunny. And I'll be also using some of the papers from the Easter set. I'll be doing some Copic colouring of the bunny and the eggs and then the card making tutorial making a shaker card. So let's get started.
grabbed a piece of smooth white cardstock and a stitch rectangle die. Uh, this will be for my front panel. And I've also grabbed a rectangle slimline die to create my shaker opening. So I'm just lining that up so it lines up top, bottom and side so that it's evenly spaced. So I'll get that taped down and take that over to my die cutting machine to cut my opening. So now my opening's cut. I'm going to actually use the egg um, papers as my background to my shaker. So to do that I'm going to create the same rectangle with the stitch rectangle die that I made for the front of the card. I've got a roll of plastic which I'll use for the front of my shaker card. So I'm just going to grab my piece of cardstock and make sure I'm going to be cutting the right size uh, piece. I have cut it a little bit bigger but I will trim down the parts that don't that I don't need and I always keep them because I can use them for other card making tutorials that I do especially when I'm doing um, interactive cards. So now I'm just going to mark with a pencil where I need to place my tape on them uh, because it's better to tape it down to the actual cardstock itself than on the plastic sheeting. So we'll get that all lined up within those um, pencil line marks and just making sure that you're covering all around the edge so that the plastic piece has a good amount of adhesive to stick to and will stay flat, especially with mine as I keep it in a roll. So we'll just take off all the release paper and get that piece of plastic stuck down over our opening. Now to ensure your shaker pieces move freely I always like to double up on the foam tape and you just want to make sure when you're putting your layers of foam tape around that you're not leaving any gaps for any of the shaker pieces to get stuck into. So make sure that you're making it the right size to fit perfectly to make the shaker opening and I've put a second layer over the top of that first layer so we've got a good amount of room for our shaker pieces. And obviously I've doubled up on the foam tape for the shaker part so I've got to do the same for this side panel to keep the whole panel up when I place it on my card front. I've also just added an extra piece of foam tape there just to make sure that front panel is stable and using my powder tool I'm just going to remove any excess stickiness on that foam tape. Now I find it easier to put my shaker pieces directly onto my card front rather than in where the shaker panel is. Um, that way it's easier for me to place the shaker opening over that rather than trying to line those shaker pieces or that back panel up to the front. So we'll take off all the release paper and then we'll get that front opening lined up making sure those shaker pieces are not going to get in any way of the foam tape. Line that up with the back panel because it's cut the same and give that a press. I've pre-cut and scored a piece of purple cardstock for my car base and I'll have all the measurements in the description box below. So we'll just add the front of our shaker uh, to the cardstock. Now I grabbed a piece of scrap purple cardstock to match my card base so that I can do the sentiment to match and I'll be using this sentiment from the My, my Favourite Things sentiment set. I'll have all the details in the description box below. Now using my Versamark watermark ink I'm just going to add two layers of that to make sure we have a good impression and then just using this Nouveau black um, embossing powder I'm going to emboss this, uh, heat emboss this sentiment. So we'll just dab that off. I will just place that excess powder back into my bottle and I've preheated my heat tool and we'll just get that sentiment all nice and melted. Now that that's dry, we'll just grab a sentiment strip banner. Now this is a little bit longer than what I actually need. So I'll just show you how we can trim that down to make it the perfect size for our sentiment. So I've cut it close to one end and now lining up the other end, we'll just quickly run that end through the die cutting machine. And now we have the perfect size sentiment strip. 
So I thought it'd be nice to have a couple of Easter eggs sitting in front of the bunny who's been scoffing all the Easter eggs. So I'm just going to quickly color up these two um, ready to place in front of him when we actually put our card together. So these come with the Easter set, so a really good addition and you can make them any size that you would like. So we'll quickly go through the coloring and I'll have all the details of the colors in the description box below and just working um, to match in with the same coloring that we have with our paper pack um, on the back of our shaker portion of our card. So we'll just add the final dots and then we'll just get those all fussy cut out. So I'll just quickly run through this fussy cutting. Now it's always best to actually move the paper rather than your scissors and it makes it a lot easier to get a nice clean cut around your images. So just keep moving that paper and slide those scissors around. All our elements are ready to go so we'll get everything attached. I'm just going to glue the bunny and the sentiment directly to the card front but with the eggs I'll glue one down and then just put some foam tape on the second one so it just sits over the top of that first one that I'll glue down. So we'll just line that this sentiment strip up with the top just so that little banner is showing both ends. And then we'll get our bunny glued and attached. And we'll just pop him straight down, just leaving a bit of room for those eggs to go in front of him at the front. So I've just popped a bit of foam tape on one egg and then we'll just get the other one glued down first and then just put the foam tape one over the top. And this is the finished card project for today. Uh, Bashful Bunny is so fun to colour up and I think he would make a great addition for any Easter card. And he works perfectly with the backing papers in those little Easter eggs that you can colour up. And I think making it a shaker just makes it some extra fun to the recipient to play with. I hope you've enjoyed this card tutorial. If you have, please leave a message and hit the like button. And if you'd like to see any future videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.